Conversations with Okabi is a channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. We are going to give you up close and candid reviews of your everyday cars. And we do hope that these reviews are going to give you an easier time when you're making that choice about the perfect car for the right job. And ever since our last review, you requested that we do a candid review of a pickup that is a renowned workhorse. And today, we are Tata Motors Kenya, and we are bringing you that review. We are turning the truck, or rather the pickup truck, upside down. And guys, today, let's look at the Tata Zen. Let me take you back in time. The first Xenon was produced in 1988 by Tata Motors. It was the second light commercial truck after the Tata 4 wheat, which we are going to talk about in a different review. Eh? So a lot of evolution has taken place since 1988, and today we are looking at a completely new, uh, a good looking and modern looking truck that is the Tata Xenon. And uh, it comes with a three liter turbo. So. I will open up the hood so that we can see the power plant behind this workhorse. Eh? Ah, it, it, it has got a, quite a heavy hood. Eh? So under the hood is a 3.0 uh, liter, that's 3000 cc, Daiko engine. Now, uh, when it comes to reliability of this engine, this engine has been developed uh, and designed by Tata in, in conjunction with AVL Austria. And AVL has a pretty good track record when it comes to engine. It's, uh, it's a four-cylinder uh, direct injection turbo. The turbo has uh, been uh, supplied by Garrett Motion, which is an American company. The common rail has been supplied by Delphi. Delphi is a, is a company that produces common rails for many manufacturers around the world. There are four major uh, producers of uh, common rail systems. That is, the top is Bosch, then uh, the second one is Delphi. So, even with the common rail, we are, we are looking at uh, a proven uh, practicality uh, company supplying the common rails. Uh, this engine can churn out uh, about uh, 75 horsepower for the single cup, but the double cup produces uh, around 140 horsepower. The, the, the reason behind that is that this one is a detuned version that is uh, clearly uh, dedicated to working. Yeah? And it can produce an impressive amount of torque that is 223 newton, newton meters of torque at 2,500 RPM. So let me take you around the track also. Uh, now, there is a common perception that Tata trucks are boring. Yeah? But today we are looking at a new breed of the Xenon that uh, blends in the utility and actually a good look. And one thing that I've noticed uh, is that the Xenon is slowly coming uh, into the, uh, at least it's, it's blending up to competition by achieving these good looks. Uh, a thing uh, that I noticed about this car, uh, Higari, it has a provision for fog lights. So you know fog lights are kind of fancy. You know, fog lights give the, the vehicle uh, quite a, a fancy look. And you see now you can, if you want to have that off-road kit and have your fog lights on, you have a provision here for a fog light and uh, that, that, that's pretty good. Now, when you're working and you, you, you want to remain essential, especially in these difficult times, eh? uh, usiku. Now, the Tata has evolved also. It's not uh, the days we used to have my bulbs. Today we are having headlights that are actually HID so that you can actually have that uh, good, uh, good visibility at night and so that you can uh, not have what we call uh, too many blind spots. Eh? Now, when you're driving off-road, eh, uh, most of the pickups will give you a hard time, especially in the, in the, two, in the 4x2 category. They'll give you a hard time uh, when you're going over ditches, especially if you have to deliver Mizigo uh, Machinani. Eh? Now, the entry angle of the Tata Zenon is something that has been designed with uh, Africa in mind. The entry angle is so good, it has a very short overhang that uh, even if you happen to go into a ditch, you will barely have your bumper touched. And uh, that is also translated in the rear, whereby we have a longer overhang, but we do have uh, another wider departure angle 
that has been boosted by a larger ground clearance such, such that ukiruka hiyo mtaro you won't have the rear of your vehicle uh, hitched up on a rock or uh, on on uneven ground so that's that's also a very 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 uh, key notable design feature for the xenon for african terrain so let's go into the car now eh? uh, wow i would like you to see that again it's so easy to open eh? it's really easy and the door fits in just perfectly for a utilitarian kind of pickup man this, this is something that we don't uh, get every day at, at price tag this is very good quality so and let's see how it feels but uh, before i go in you can actually see the interior is very dark that is well suited for work you don't want a bright interior uh, in in a workhorse you know assuming you're carrying uh, animal feeds or uh, anything else or even the dust so this is very it's very dark and it's easy to clean there is uh, it's mostly plastic uh, but at least it's not plastic that squeaks so you, you try to shake that dashboard you don't get any squeaking which is a very good thing for a pickup you don't want any noises as you're driving so the drivability i'm telling you the ground clearance of this thing is crazy eh? so you have to step up here eh? This, this, this is a vehicle that has, it, it's almost a truck. Eh? It's not a car you board, you have to move up. Eh? So, the instrument cluster is very clear from a driver's view. It's extremely clear. I, I'm, I'm relatively short, eh? but the good thing is that my view up to the bonnet is actually very good. You can maneuver very easily with this truck. Uh, very simple dashboard. You don't, it, it doesn't have any sophisticated controls. Uh, the gear lever is very well labeled. It's also very comfortable for the, for the hand. Eh? It's a power output. If you need to charge your phone, uh, when you're going into the bundles, you can plug in your, 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 your charger over there, your, your car charger, and it will work just fine. Uh, it, it has air conditioning. You know, most rugged vehicles don't have AC. So in case you're driving and it's misty and you've got all that uh, hum humidity on your, on your windshield, you can actually uh, take it off by switching on the AC. Uh, it's, uh, it has got, uh, it's very simple, it's very simple. Um, don't mind the seats, this vehicle is brand new and by the way it smells nice. Eh? So, karatasi tutatoa tukiuza gari. Now, uh, it has got a compartment over here that you can put in your deliveries or the documents that you need for, uh, for, for the work that you're doing. We've got a, a face here, meaning uh, you can attach um, the, the either Kenwood Pioneer face that has got USB, it has got AUX, and uh, this will make sure at least you get entertained wakati unasafiri for those very long trips. The spacing of the, of the cabin, eh? This cabin is, uh, it has pretty much headroom. It has a lot of headroom. If you can look uh, where I'm seated plus the headroom, it means even if I go over bumps, I'm not going to hit my head on the roof. The other thing is that Igari Mekubali directives the social distancing. You see, you can only sit two. It has got two seats. There is plenty of space for the driver to operate. Uh, the handbrake is right here. I, I, I basically I generally don't like the handbrakes that you have to put out when they are when they are inside here. Um, it's it's all plastic eh? but one thing I, I like about the gear lever is that it's massive and if you look at shifting it it's actually very easy. Second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. So it's actually very easy. It's it's more of a direct shift. You, it's very hard for you to miss shift from assuming you're in uh, third gear and you want to go to fifth gear, it's very easy to, no, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. You can't actually shift that gear for fifth gear unless you, okay, you, you're a rookie, but it's, it's, it, the gear lever is, uh, the gear, the gears are very well, uh, it's more of a pre-select. Okay, we don't have that feature, but it feels good. It's very easy. Comfortability is something that is very key when it comes to a workhorse. Eh? You don't want to get extremely exhausted when you're delivering goods across the country or even uh, across 
the, the country. By the way, Tata has a, a cross-border warranty whereby if you own a Tata truck or pickup, you can uh, take it. Or if it breaks down or you have a warranty issue when you're in Tanzania or Uganda, you can take it there um, as long as they have a Tata East African branch. So this vehicle is very comfortable. Uh, unlike you know so many people say that it looks too hardy no it's actually very comfortable and i can adjust the seats either front uh, or is the knob yes i can take it front or i can take it back uh, depending on where you where your comfort point is to hold the steering wheel and also to reach for the brake the clutch and uh, uh, the throttle um, now, uh, when it comes to the steering wheel, I always advise that you hold it at, uh, at a point where your elbows are at an angle, uh, unlike, uh, or as opposed to when they are straight, because when they are at an angle, in case of collision or frontal impact, you reduce the chances of your elbows or your arms breaking. Secondly, uh, when, when we are at matters steering, this steering wheel can adjust either up or down. Uh, you put it to where you're comfortable, so I'm rather short, so I would like it to be at this point. Again, there are guys who are saying that these things, uh, that the, the, the steering is quite hard and you have to be prepared for you to, <laughs> to turn this steering. But now, let me, let me do it practically. Look how easy it is. See? It's actually very easy for you to turn power steering at play here and uh, that's, that's a pretty clever feature. Uh, the other thing is that when you're traveling, you might need some convenience in your car. So there are cup holders here, two of them, one for you and one for your passenger. Um, so you can, uh, it can fit a Red Bull, a Monster Energy or any other energy drink you, or even water. Uh, most, but this one is mostly designed for cans. Huh? For water, you can put it on the, uh, the compartment on your door it makes it it's designed in a way that it's very well reachable you don't have to struggle for it then you need uh, to a point where you need to reach your phone there is a compartment when you can where you can place your phone but i do not advise people to pick phone calls when you're driving uh, it's better if you have a bluetooth set of earphones uh, so that you can just receive without having to get your eyes off the road now the seats are made of um, cloth and it's hard cloth, so it's comfortable as well as uh, it's durable. So it will take you a very long time before these seats can get dilapidated. So the other interesting thing or other, that makes the Tata Zenon feel a bit fancy, despite being a workhorse, is that this truck has reading lights. Yes, this pickup has reading lights. Look, so wakati unasoma, ume deliver, ume chapakazi, ni usiku, orders uh, delivery you can actually put on the reading light uh, read what you have or even the other side who you are hoping uh, maybe is, is the assistant to the driver can also use the reading light then we also have the, the larger light uh, the larger cabin light which is very well it's, it's it's very well positioned it's also the brightness is sufficient so uh, I, I can say that this, this, this it gives the cab, the cabin some ambience of a little bit of luxury, uh, despite the fact that uh, this is this pickup is designed to be a workhorse. Now, when it comes to the materials that have uh, been used to complete this cabin, Tata had in mind that this vehicle si gari ya kubembelezo ni gari ya kazi. So the material that has been used to make the dashboard is some hard plastic as in this plastic that at a gari kienda you you don't you won't feel some squealing make to make you won't get cracks on it it's it's hard plastic but it's it's relatively hard and when it comes to cleaning this is a surface that you can easily clean it doesn't need any special kind of treatment you know these these are ragged car and it comes in with some compartments marina is away kama order for zako but deliveries all that and the simplicity the other thing is that this car haina electricals me and the reason for that is that this car is designed to go anywhere so uh, although this is the 4x2 version in the next review that we are going to have we are going to have the 4x4 version you can go in water or you can even pour a whole bucket of water in the cabin but you don't have any wires that utanza kupata mashot yeah it's, it's pretty clever by the way then it comes with uh, a set of carpets 
it also has some velvet um, on the covering the mabati down there but even if you were to go through a puddle of water trust me hutapata any short circuits uh, with this car it's 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 bare bone stock uh, which is a very good thing for somebody who wants to go anywhere so with that uh, i think we should go behind there and see the kind of utility because a business person or rather a commercial vehicle is bound for utility so to end the numa i show you a few tricks with the bed and its convenience it provides even with loading eh? So, when you're a business person, what you're looking for in a pickup is utility. And I'm going to show you a few clever things that this pickup has when it comes to utility. Now, uh, I want us to open the bed. It's slightly over two meters long. It's sufficiently wide. It's very easy to open the bed. Now, on conventional pickups, huh? The bed will, the, this uh, tailgate will actually come up to this level, but for the Xenon it actually goes all the way down so that you can conveniently slide in the cargo that you have. The other thing is that, let me close this so that I can demonstrate something else. Uh, it's actually very easy to close. So, with this pickup, you can even open the sides of. Uh, this load bed by so if, if you want that feature you actually just have to take off this bracket so that uh, you can be opening up if you have some very bulky cargo or even uh, it's, it's a very dynamic bed that can be used for glass hauling it can be used for crates it can be used for that mainly because it doesn't have any wheel latches protruding into the load bed and that is a very clever feature that in, in case this bracket is out I'm hoping next time we'll be able to take it out so that this whole side of the bed goes all the way down. Now, with the Tata Xenon, we have uh, front uh, semi-elliptical leaf springs in the front and we have the same in the back. So most conventional pickups will have uh, the conventional uh, shock and coil uh, suspension in the front, but this one, now to make it more hardy, it has the leaf springs on the front. And what we know about leaf springs is that they can withstand a lot of uh, harsh terrain and a lot of even rough driving. Yeah. Now, another thing that we may have to talk about is how, um, or rather the proving uh, and testing and the validation of the engine. Now, Daiko, Daiko engines have been validated for both high temperature, high altitude, and low temperature, high altitude. The validation has been done in uh, Spain for high altitude and uh, high temperature. It has also been done in Switzerland for low temperature, high altitude. So you don't have to worry about operating this Tata pickup anywhere in Kenya, maybe in the, be it in the highlands or in the coastal lowlands or even in the desert. It's, it can withstand almost every kind of terrain that we have globally.